peace happy now now is the vibrate not too far in the future not too far in the past right now right now i'm sitting in front of you know, tiger stadium you know for these college kids who get paid so much money to play these sports you know these college kids go out there and give it their all so people could get buildings and infrastructures like this that cost over millions and millions of dollars, you know. Then when they get to the NFL, you know, they get grilled on TV for not taking a pay cut because they're not being a team player. Or you know, they, they need to take a pay cut so they could acquire another person on the team and this and that, while the owner of the team doesn't have to give any of his money. So is the owner of the team a team player? Or he don't have to answer to those type of questions? I guess it's different for him, you know? And which I'm starting off this, this video like this because I want to get into the Colin Kaepernick situation. And you know, the brethren not standing up for the national anthem and everybody which that's why I don't watch TV and I don't be in circles of people who talk about this type of stuff all day because I, I mean, I, I just glanced at a few YouTube videos that was talking about it and I was like, oh, I can't listen to this ignorance. Like one guy was like, you know, I, he gets paid millions of dollars and this and that. How, how could a country hate him and pay him that much? I'm like, I mean, slavery done changed my brother. Like, all right, yes, he gets that money. That's almost like, matter of fact, you bring it to nowadays and compare it to back in the day, that's almost like a slave master saying, you know, we allow him in the house. I done gave him this, 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 better, this better house than all the other slaves. I done did this and did that. I'm still killing his brothers and sisters, but I give him all this and he's ungrateful. This slave, he's still ungrateful. You know, that's all I hear when I hear people like, oh man, he he get treated equally. He has the same amount of money as the next person and this and that. That is way beyond the point, you know? But it's just getting to the point too where, you know, the, the veil is lifting and you're seeing people's true intentions, you know what I'm saying? In a country where, you know, politicians and people could send drones overseas to kill people for situations that don't have nothing to do with freedom. But they get on TV and they, you know, say it's for freedom or they lie. And they, and they don't have to be accountable for these situations. They got people who kill people who don't have to be accountable for situations. Kind of like what Ka Colin Kaepernick was standing up for. Because one of the good points he made was that, you know, lawyers, you know, go to school for like eight years. They got to study for so long. And then you got beauticians, people who do hair that has to go through more education than a cop who get, carries a gun that could take lives. You know, that person gets less training than a person holding a curling iron, basically. That's, that's his uh, words, basically. You know, and, that, and that's truthful. That was one of the things he said. But I mean, it, it's just getting more and more obvious, especially with sports. It's like, like with uh, Cam Newton, like th this is top news. This is all on CNN right, right now. Not, not the fact that, uh, these cops keep walking away from these killings and, and all these situations of killing people overseas and all these things these dirty politicians have been doing and still doing. Like, if somebody, like back in the day, were they in an uprage and talking about like all of the black people that was getting hung like this? Like, did they, you know, did, did the people hanging black people have to stand in front of a crowd of people and be accountable? Like, you know, Mike Vick for dealing with an animal being killed or whatever. And of course, I'm, I'm, I am I'm, feel like, yeah, all animals are equal in essence. You know, you're not supposed to harm or do nothing to any animal. But on, on, the, on the real side of it, though, I still don't see that a man should be in jail, in a jail cell behind some dogs dying when they got presidents and people killing and doing way more, you know, way worse things, you know, than dog fight or uh, not uh talking at a press conference like Marshawn Lynch or uh, you know being mad because they lost like Cam Newton like these guys get crucified like they politicians making life-changing decisions did they did they crucify the, the mayor of Flint Michigan when the water was bad like that 
know, did they do the same thing to him? And it becomes more and more obvious how much uh, a, 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 a melanated person, black person has to be a combo. I, I try not to use the word black, but you know, how a melanated person has to be so accountable for their actions while other people rape and pillage and kill other people and they don't have to stand in front of everybody and answer. Like, do those cops who shot Alton Sterling have to do a press conference about why it happened? Nah, they just get paid and just don't have to work no more and just stay and hide. You know, that's that's the message that our country sends to us. So basically, Colin Kaepernick was just sending the same message back. Like, I'm not going to pledge allegiance to the flag. Matter of fact, and picture this, and to the republic for which it stands. People don't peep that, that they want us to pledge a, allegiance to a republic. A republic is not a democracy. A republic is a bunch of old men sitting around, you know, getting rich and making laws for people who lives they don't understand. They're just making laws. You know, that's a republic. You want me to pledge allegiance to that, you know? I mean, like I, I might say in one of my other videos, I mean, the fact that I'm not walking around acting all crazy, killing people and acting like a humane person, you know, is enough of a pledge of allegiance, you know. I don't have to watch black people get killed since slavery and then still, and then I still have to stand in pledge of allegiance. That's almost like some North Korea stuff. Like, I see my people getting forced into concentration camps, but I still got to march and say, hell, Kim Jong-il and all this. It's like, it's the same type of situation. Said we have luxuries in America and we just gotta open our eyes to that. You know, and it and it's getting so bad that, you know, at one time, you know, you were actually kind of playing with your life by coming out with information like this, but it's getting so bad to where none of us care no more. That's how real the situation is getting, where none of us care if they wanna take our lives behind what we're speaking on, because it needs to be talked about. It's just getting to that point, you know, where you know, and I'm a person that meditate. And I'm gonna give you an insight. Like I meditate and stuff, and I just started a uh, a voodoo altar. And I mean, the ancestors, man. I feel I feel those lashes that they had to take on their back. That I was in that life. I I, I had those life in, in my past coronations. I hung from these trees. This oak tree. I actually hung from these trees in my past life. So you know, when you're watching all this, you know, this bull con go down, you know, all this bullshit. Excuse my diction. <laughs> you watching all this go down, you know, especially from a from a spirited person who feel the ancestors, it's like enough is enough, you know what I'm saying? And of course we're not trying to do it forcefully. That's why nobody up and like say for instance, nobody fighting fire with fire is, you know, nobody walking around trying to shoot nothing or nothing. We know we just asking for this to stop. And since it's not, we just have to make a proactive change, you know a peaceful, proactive change, you know, for the better. And it starts with stuff like what Colin Kaepernick doing, because he has a voice and he, you know, he basically made a stand by sitting down, you know, basically like Rosa Parks. Making a stand by sitting down. And that's what we have to do is the little things like this and the little things like me making this video instead of talking about rocks. I could talk about crystals and meditation any and all the time, any other time. Right now, you know, talking about the situation that you know that's going on you know that that matters that really matters you know not taking a blind eye to a situation that's just continuing to to get worse somewhat you know and, it, and, and the more it gets worse you know the more people you know are starting to open up and realize man that through the actions and through the words you know things things haven't really changed you know it just, it just turned into euphemisms and, you know, and hiding it, you know? You see that the KKK don't march anymore and all these things, you know? Do you think they just disappeared off the earth? Like, ah, they still working behind the scenes. They just got suits on and badges and all these type of things, you know, and they hide behind that. And they, they act like, you know, they, everything is peachy while still oppressing us, but, Oh, it is what it is. On that note, I'm bringing it up. <laughs> vibrate high. I don't want to get, you know. But at the same time, I vibrate high. But at, at the same time, I'm going to speak on the situation. I'm not going to run from it, you know. Like how some people may be like, oh, yeah, stay high. Stay, stay on the high vibrational frequency, you know, and not touch the subject. Oh, no, I'm going to touch the subject because it needs to be touched. 
especially as an indigo child, indigo person, human, you know, I had, like I was sent here to speak up on these issues, you know, to not just watch things like this happen to my brother and sister, you know. I'm here for a reason. It's not to just make videos on gyms and, and meditation if I'm seeing human beings getting oppressed, you know, and that equal rights is not real. You know, it's not a reality in our country and a lot of places in the world. But that is here to change, you know, 2012 marked the beginning of the spiritual change and it's only changing more and more the wicked is getting more wicked you know you're you you're being able to witness this is like biblical times and revelations like you're seeing the people that's devilish acting more devilish and the people that's divine becoming more divine you know you know you 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 you're basically seeing the the who's really getting crucified who's really you know what i'm saying getting oppressed What's really going on? You know, a lot of people want to hide from it and not talk about it, but not me. You know, and these, like I say, these football players go out here and put their body on the line so somebody rich could call them out on not being a team player for not taking the take pay cut. You know, that's the that's the insanity. That's why I can't watch ESPN no more because it don't even make sense for them to even do that to any of those players. Whether they're white, black, or any of them, you know what I'm saying? So the situation, it just gets so out of hand, you know? Where it just... Don't make sense, it's insanity, you know? But I'm gonna leave on that note. Peace to Colin Kaepernick. I hope, you know, other athletes' eyes are open and awake, you know? Especially in this area. You know, I hope, hope athletes see, see what's going on. You know, and how they got these expectations that's higher than politicians who killing people. The, these young athletes have to answer to more shit than a politician who kills people and, and let people water be fucked up and put lead into people water and, and pharmacists who, who pump us with all these drugs. They don't have to answer to nobody, but a player playing a sport, you know, got to answer to people like, like he's a politician. You know, but peace, happy now, now's the vibrate, <laughs> not too far in the future, not too far in the past, right now.